the day starts is Flying J. Not a very big one, but our Flying J at Ross Avenue in Regina, Saskatchewan. Oh, so this is gonna be a bit of a short trip. We came out here to Regina, about a six hour drive. We're picking up a load in Weyburn, just an hour south of Winnipeg. We're headed back to the yard, home for the night. We're gonna pick up a load in Winnipeg tomorrow, headed to Calgary. So we've been staying in Western Canada for the most part of the winter so far. But that's all they got, so they tried, you know. Hopefully after we're done in Calgary, we can pick up a load going deep south. Somewhere warm, that'd be nice. So the temperature overnight has been below minus 30 consistently. So it was right cold all night. So now it's it's the next day we've unloaded our freight. It's warmed up a little bit. I'm guessing it's probably about minus 25. A little bit sunshine here. Almost time to take the jacket off and switch it for a t-shirt. tractor by the barn. That's where I am. Hey, there's barns, that's the only thing out here. It's just barns and tractors. It's a very official business. Yeah. Southern Saskatchewan here. This looks very much like Manitoba, if you're wondering. They just got a whole lot more of nothing. Well, a whole lot more farming. I guess that's something. Pardon me. Didn't mean to offend the farmers. Manitoba's truly got nothing. We don't got... We got a lot of area where it's just empty bushland. This is what it looks like where we're at right now. Literally the middle of nowhere. As far as you can see, well, farms, I guess. I'd really like to live in areas like this. So it reminds me of my teenage years. We used to live in the middle of a field on a farm. It was my second cousin's farm. Yeah, so it was my parents' cousin's farm, I think. Uh, it was really, really neat. You know, a lot of seclusion, sort of. You get, a, you get that feeling of uh, I guess solitude, sort of like, maybe that's why I like to be alone so much. But I really like it. It's very peaceful, very quiet, you know. I'd always like to have, have my house at like the top of a hill like this, overlooking all of my land. Do the whole Mufasa thing. Everything the light touches is my kingdom. So we're headed back eastbound now towards the yard, towards home. Uh, we'll be going home for tonight already. I think I told you this already and leaving tomorrow afternoon towards Calgary. We only need to get uh, just into Saskatchewan, let's say tomorrow, so like three or four hours of driving, so we can leave late in the day, whatever. We'll try to leave for like around early afternoon and then end up getting going around supper, probably. And then we'll have a full day to drive on Sunday, unload Monday morning, and go from there. So Mandy wanted me to go home all the way up to the, the Trans-Canada. I came from Weyburn, Saskatchewan, right? You saw it on the map. She wanted to route me all the way back up to Regina to the, to the Trans-Canada and then take the Trans-Canada all the way home. It would have been seven and a half hours going that way. I found if I take this highway here, it's Highway 13 in Saskatchewan. Uh, once we hit Manitoba, it turns into Highway 2. I cut two hours off my, off my drive home. Now, 
was only five and a half hours. So I don't know what's up with Mandy, but she's messing around with me today. Do you think I got Britt here to put her in line? <laughs> Give her a little smack. I'm not allowed to hit her. I don't hit women. <laughs> Can't fight. <laughs> I knew there'd be a fight between Britt and Mandy sooner or later. Eventually. Eventually, yeah. Suddenly my GPS will have a different voice. Program my own in there. <laughs> Program your own. <laughs> to nag him when I'm not on trips with him. Keep your eyes on the road, Josh! What are you looking at? <laughs> Let this guy pass you! <laughs> Who are you watching? Some sexy dude. Really? Should I be jealous? Probably. Oh, he is pretty good looking. <laughs> wow. What's his name? Josh. Josh. You sure you're pronouncing that right? Joshua. Joshua. So what do we do when we get home? Apparently watch Trick or Josh. <laughs> I haven't watched a video in days. I know, I we don't watch them. Every single morning, as soon as I got up, or not even got up, as soon as I opened up my eyes, the first thing that I would do is I would go to Josh's channel and watch his video. That was before we lived together. And now I rarely ever even watch a video because we're on the road and I want to save Dana. And she's experiencing the vlog now. Now you live the video. I do, but I still want to watch them. So I guess maybe next time we're home, we'll take down the tree. Or are we gonna leave it up all year? We could always leave it up all year. No, it needs to come down. Next time we're home for more than a couple days, we need to go to my mom's to get more of my stuff, and I need to take down the Christmas ornaments, and I gotta wash the kitchen cupboards. Those are those are the three things. What's wrong with the kitchen cupboards? We are filthy. Are they? I'm getting one big job done at a time. I tackled the ensuite last time. It's, it's got man, man, it just got man dirt on it. Man grease. Man grease. It's, it's, it's healthy it's for you. Cleaning, cleaning stuff. It'll build up your immune system. It's healthy for you. Oh my. Right, Diesel? So we went to bed actually as soon as we got home last night. This is just the next morning. We're getting ready to go out again. Tomorrow, for you guys, we're going to be leaving to Calgary, Alberta. There's a trailer waiting for us in the city of Winnipeg. We're going to be taking that all the way across the prairies to the, to the foothills of the mountains. I don't know if we're going to go into the mountains or not. Depends on what they have us do after we, after we unload. We were really hoping to go south. Yeah, I was really hoping to go south, but they didn't have any freight moving south at this time, and I didn't want to wait all week for a southern load. So I figured, while we're waiting for a southern load, let's go to Calgary and back, and by the time we get back, maybe... Maybe they'll have something going south. Like, I'm talking deep south. Let's let's go to, like, the Panhandle of Florida. Let's go all the way down to the Keys, Florida. Maybe all the way down to Far Texas. Uh, I don't know. We don't go down there that often. It'll probably be a load, I'm guessing, probably to the southeast. That's where we seem to end up a lot of the time. But who knows? That's next week. So I hope you'll tune in tomorrow. Hope you hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. You can follow our journey. Me and my fiance Britt. Our dog Diesel. There's a wiener over there on her lap. There's another one in Frankie. The bed. There's another one in the bed over there. 
Love to have you guys join us. You can also find Britt on her own personal channel. Links are all down below in the description. Hit that like button if you did like the video and I'll see you tomorrow. And these are some art sculptures. Some art that we saw in Weyburn, Saskatchewan. That's southeast of Regina, the capital. The southern part of the province there. So this was a lot of flat land scenery today. To me and Britt, this is extremely boring because this is what we live in every day. But we love it because it's home. I know there's a lot of you watching from around the world, maybe in the Rocky Mountains, maybe in the Appalachians, maybe out in Europe, Australia, or South Africa, wherever you may be around the world, uh, maybe this is interesting to you, so we like to show you it anyway. I hoped it was all you hoped it would be. All over the same. I'm going to end the vlog here. Hit that like button if you did like the video. Helps us out more than you think. But what helps us out the most is if you subscribe to the channel and tell your friends about it. Because if you liked it, chances are your friends will too. We'll see you tomorrow, anytime after 4 a.m. Central.